we continue the discussion which we had in the last lecture so what happens now the idea is very clear that the microprocessor the now i will draw a bigger diagram where i will show the microprocessor inside registers then this block and then we will go for the we the different machine cycles which are undergone after the first machine cycle of opcore phage so now see remember i repeat that nowadays 8085 pro assembly language programming or knowing its what we can say the mnemonics that is assembly level instructions and the machine code is not considered to be an asset now the world is now of what we can say the processor which you can design you can have your own processor like that now we are having a set of arduino prepared by some manufacturer but now it is no longer any proprietor's uh, privilege any user can design his or her own microprocessor when you come back in campus in the next semester that time for those who are interested for those who are interested we may have an additional workshop on designing the microprocessor itself and or, what is arduino arduino is a microcontroller what is microcontroller microcontroller is microprocessor plus memory and plus few peripherals are all put inside the chip so in case of microprocessor there were separate chips for cpu which we are calling as a microprocessor chip then memory and then other interfacing devices so once the concept of how a microprocessor works once the concept of how a microprocessor works is understood then it is what we can say a significant knowledge updation you will be becoming very confident so the idea is very clear what a microprocessor chip it's a cpu not memory what it can do cpu <coughs> is having now 16 address lines eight data lines address lines are output data lines are bidirectional control lines are output for cpu for memory block address lines are input data lines are bidirectional control lines are input so microprocessor with reference to external world can have a read cycle or a write cycle how it what should you the cycle there is a clock input pin so with the help of clock cycle clock is just like hard bit of it's there i think that there is no need of uh, such kind of simpler <laughs> comparison but just for the sake of comparison we do it clock is like hard bit of a human being so three clock cycle comprise one machine cycle it is either a read cycle or a write cycle then when we reset the microprocessor it goes to a predefined state and after the predefined and when when the reset is done and when the reset is active it is the name of the pin is reset in bar or we can say reset bar there is actually one reset out pin but that is not right now not important so that reset in bar pin is active low means when we that is when user puts it low the microprocessor is in reset state in the reset state microprocessor does not function at all microprocessor starts functioning microprocessor starts functioning when you release the reset just like i to give a simple example you have some toy where we are having a spring and there is a key with which you tighten the spring if you when you keep the spring in tightened state by holding the key that toy doesn't run toy runs when you release the key marathi sangto ekada khelna tama killi deto spring avalto killi na spring avalun dharli mhanje te suru kel suruvat ya state la anle ti reset state त्या स्टेट मध्ये खेळणं पळत नाही वेन यू रिलीज इट इट स्टार्ट सो वेन यू रिसेट 
it when you reset the microprocessor when you keep the reset pin low microprocessor is in reset state microprocessor does not start microprocessor starts when we bring it out from reset state microprocessor starts when you bring it out from reset state by deactivating reset bar means to reset the microprocessor reset in bar or reset bar should be made zero and then and then we deactivate it so that it can start functioning right so when it starts function when what i say the microprocessor after reset so after reset the microprocessor goes for a predefined cycle and that has to be a read cycle because if that if that is a right cycle then the question will come what the next cycle will be if it is a read cycle then something will come from outside to microprocessor so what next cycle can be is depending on what is being read so ultimately in a read cycle microprocessor will receive one 8 bit value from the address which it chooses when i say it chooses there is a difference when i say human being i choose now to go to a specific t stop i choose to go there five t stops a b c d and e when i wake up today morning i choose to go to t stall b so the command or the action of going to t stall b it is where the a b c d and e so when i decide human beings actions are very complex so is there any t register inside my brain and something is written there so that when i decide to go to t stall b it is nothing means when i say microprocessor decides to it cannot decide it has to be defined so there must be a t register inside my mind inside or not mind inside the memory someone sometime somehow might have written something into that register what are the ways with which it updates are different so when i wake up i look at the register t register and i decide to go to that t stop so micro if in case of a read cycle microprocessor decides from where to read when i say decide it doesn't decide abruptly it doesn't decide based on some instinct there is no instinct for a machine so microprocessor in a read cycle some register gives the address when i just correct myself a register pair because address is 16 bit so my microprocessor chip which is like 8085 i am using 85 as reference is having register a register flags register i can have it a diagram like this is a register for register bank let's say see in fact the teaching should be abstract means we should not be confined to it define but teaching in that it is just like whether there should be a murti puja or not that murti puja is tokenism explaining the concept abstract concept of god without going for murti puja is somewhat difficult but it can be done but to to address the normal we don't expect the no doubt the students in walchand college are super expert but at the first year stage we don't expect them to capture something at abstract level so instead of anyway what is important creating an image of microprocessor functioning in your mind is important so rather than taking some abstract vague example 
we take an example of something known which may be useful for you but may not be because it is now obsolete. So register A is there, accumulator. Register A is shown uh, in, in the morning I just reversed. Register A, it is 8 bit. Along with it there is one 8 bit vacuum which is filled by fly. So it is eight, fly is also a register only few are meaningful in that bits. Then register B, C, register D, E, register H, L, then there is a register program counter high and program counter low together called as together called as PC. There is one more register which is also useful SP stack pointer. Why we will explain SPH, SPL. It is called a stack pointer. And there are two temporary registers not listed but used internally. There are, there are no commands which uses temporary registers. Somehow, why do you think that? <coughs> While explaining that, around 5-6 decades back, the teachers that time started using the name WNC. So there are, these are the registers and there is one, another register in it is called as, that, that is not a register accessible as such, but just like a register that I will draw it separately here. It is not a register, it is some complex arrangement that I will call as instruction register or instruction decoder. Right. So now, a stage is set where we can bombard with the Microsoft fundamentals. So after reset, the first cycle is a memory read cycle for the purpose of now what is opcode and what is operand? What is opcode and what is operand? That also I will explain. It is in a, this ATT5 context of assembly language programming. So some operations are there. Some operations are there. What are the operations which microprocessor can perform? What are the operations which a microprocessor can perform? The first and foremost operation with, with which you are extremely aware of using because of online education, it is copy paste. The, if a question is asked, which is the operation with which the current student generation is highly conversant, it is copy paste. So, bringing something from somewhere and putting it at somewhere else. So this is CPU8085 model. On it there are address lines, data lines, control lines. Supply lines are not shown because those are assumed. The set bar and input line and this is clock CLK the address 15 to address 0 D7 to D0 read bar and write bar these are the lines now what kind so the first is Copy paste. That is, that is, copy paste is a bad word because of current online education. So its standard scientific name is data transfer instructions. These are data transfer instructions. So data transfer. For data transfer, there has to be some source and some destination. There should be some source and some destination. Friends, remember what we are learning now is the functioning of microprocessor. Remember, see, it is, uh, I am making it easy. Also, the phenomenal progress in semiconductor technology has forced it to be made easy. When we were students three decades back, that time this was a subject, that time 
it was a subject studied at third year of electronics engineering and, and was considered to be an extremely complex and difficult subject what's considered to be an extremely complex and difficult subject whereas now it is at the first year and because of technological advancement they also there are two three facts that you can understand and at the same time there is no option that you have to understand you have to understand so now we proceed with what diff so once this idea is clear i, mean, I again repeat that uh, if there is no need of teaching if only the information which is otherwise available is to be in dictated in the so called either live or recorded classroom by the corresponding teacher who is actually taking the class <coughs> the value addition will be there in a classroom if something else if, if something which is made available there is not otherwise so easily accessible elsewhere so specific or no programming all that uh, id in practical we will cover few things for few very simple things i will give so you the notes and i will use the remaining time to explain to you the crux of the subject the actual lectures are to be used to are required to be used to explain the crux and with some sites being let alone for the students to be studied with some material being provided <clears throat> if i decide to give weightage as per the contents of the subject then what will happen is that unnecessary simpler things are which are otherwise there i will repeat them just like reading a story which is of no use for you so at the end of the course you'll understand what the course was it's not so easy to tell you how the course is meaningful it is just like a person who is uh, blind from birth and there is an international eye specialist there is a rich person who is blind from the birth the international eye specialist guarantees that whatever transformation which the surgery is going to bring about within him is just revolutionary but that will be after the surgery then the rich person says but how can i get a trailer of it can i by paying some consultation fee get the idea of what kind of transformation this eye surgery is going is going to bring about in my life then the international eye surgeon says no sir you have to undergo the surgery by believing in me because the eye surgery converting a blind person from birth into a per person having having a normal vision cannot have its trailer so what kind of transformation the course is going to bring about in you i can't explain the trailer you have to believe in me and watch these lectures anyway you, you don't don't have much some how much are any other important work so you watch the lectures so data transfer instruction the tra when i say transfer there has to be some source there has to be some destination when i say transfer there has to be some source there has to be some destination then what is the source and what is the destination then source can be inside destination can be outside or vice versa or both can be inside both can be outside is exceptional and right now not required for us so the data transfer instruction it it's uh, the assembly language the assembly language words which describe the instruction are called as mnemonics mem i think now the Uh, since there are all these things are not needed everything is simple this is the word mnemonics with this n silent is uh, not known anywhere so these these are 
English like words say for example move load accumulator store accumulator these are some examples these are some examples so these are data transfer instructions i will explain all instructions we will go through significant instruction set so that you are fully familiar about microsoft functioning and once you are fully familiar about microsoft functioning the rest of the things which you can do on your own so what is the purpose of this first year subject is to introduce learnability you in you means you must learn to learn not teaching any specific program processor as such so we are using it if i because just to it we can't go for abstract data transfer instructions then means why data transfer instructions are important <clears throat> if ever microprocessor to which now to which i have interfaced the external world that is memory and in this memory for it to be in full i have connected at least eight lines as input lines and at least eight lines as output lines so these are this is my connecting window to microprocessor it is in 7 to in 0 o7 to o0 so external world it we can use it for atomization so something is received from the actual real time information some sensors and based on that something is to be done therefore micro so this is one input port one input location having one 16 bit address so i i need to read that and take it in some register inside the processor and when i want to activate outputs i have to transfer some register inside the processor to this output location this 16 bit address is to be given so i need to have these data transfer instructions and after doing data transfer instructions ultimate is a microprocessor this grows bigger to a computer this grows bigger to a computer which performs now highly complex complicated calculations so there has to be some arithmetic and logic instructions there should be some arithmetic and logic instructions there is no need for us to go for deeper in the instruction but we should be aware of what kind of instructions it can be say for example the simple instruction what has to be there is add add then subtract then some logical instructions and or or like that so with these instructions add instruction the 8085 is considered to be an 8 bit processor so most of the things are 8 bit so add instruction adds two 8 bit numbers so add instruction is having two sources each add instruction is having two sources of 8 bit length and one destination of how much length those who want to think on their own should put a pause think on their own and they either can verify they are correct or they can listen to me of 9 bit because addition of 2 8 bit numbers is a 9 bit number that is when i add ff it is 111111111 plus 111111111 what i is what is result is 0111111 what does what zero carry 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 each time it comes so it is f and e One so ff plus ff is equal to one fe. So it's a nine-bit number. And for pro 
providing that ninth bit, the position of carry is there. Now, where exactly these operations are to be done? So there is some part in the microprocessor called as ALU inside CPU. There is arithmetic logic unit and accumulator. <coughs> accumulator is a de facto part of that arithmetic logic unit. That is the instructions which are arithmetic or logical. The accumulator has to be one of the sources and the default destination. Means the instruction of addition of two 8-bit numbers can be like the instruction is I will give an example. I will give an example. Add B. What add B means? When I specify add B, it is accumulator is accumulator is a default destination is equal to accumulator a default source plus B. B is 8 bit, accumulator is 8 bit, accumulator is 8 bit, and where is 9 bit. So carry flag. In the flag register, in the flag register, if I write the flag register, there is one carry flag. Its position is not so important. One carry flag. So carry flag and accumulator means the status of accumulator and carry flag after the addition, after the instruction add B reflects nine bits of the result. Right? So add sub. So there are many such instructions. Then Sometimes you are required to transfer the control, jump somewhere. So the instructions are now, so major instructions I am taking and I add like that and all these we will explain in the next few lectures some instructions but the purpose is not to become expert remember. The purpose of these lectures is not to make you expert in 885 programming which is redundant but just to give you a feel of what is programming, what is my course of functioning. So the instructions are first copy paste that is data transfer. Then arithmetic arithmetic logic then data transfer arithmetic logic instructions then there may be some time in need for a branch instruction a control needs to be transferred branch instruction so now <coughs> The pro where is the program written? The program is written in the external memory in the initial part starting from zero that is called as read only memory that is the program contained should not disappear if the power is made off. Program contains should not disappear if the power is made off. So oh, there are ways so there are various such instructions. One of the instructions which is branch transfer is jump. But where to jump? We need to provide address. If the data transfer instruction is there. So load accumulator. The two examples I am taking. Load accumulator from external 16 bit location. Jump to some 16 bit location. So these are the instructions which have an operation and operand where operand is specified in the next bytes. So the operation this is jump or LDA is an operation, it will have an operation code called an op code, and this is operand. Well, there's few other instructions. Add B. So add B is a single instruction. Add B. The instruction is add B. So its operation is add, but uh, B 
B is not separate. Add B is a single instruction. So this instruction code includes operands. Instruction code includes operands. That is add B means A is equal to A plus B or carry and A equal to A plus B. So that is quite clear. Add B. So the so what is important now? After reset, after reset, what microprocessor does is after reset, microprocessor undergoes an opcore phase cycle. After reset, microprocessor undergoes an opcore phase cycle. Based on that opcore phase cycle, whatever it receives that goes to instruction register. So after reset, after reset, the first cycle, so we will always go for this machine cycle sequence. Understanding this machine cycle sequence is an important feature of an engineer learning microprocessor in turn Arduino, whereas Arduino can, programming can be used by even a high school going student. So as to make you differentiate your engineer, everybody must be able to have right a machine cycle sequence. So machine cycle sequence that is type of the cycle, who gives address and they, who gives data or data goes where. So after reset the first cycle is not a real but is an upcore phase cycle F. When it is of core phase cycle F, there is an inside, inside microprocessor, there is a register pair of program counter low and program counter high. That is program counter gives that address. So program count, it is program <coughs> counter which gives the address and right now the address. Program counter will give 0, 0, 0, 0 because it is after the reset has made the program counter 0 so that the first read takes place from that program counter from 0. The data will come. What is the data? The data will be the data will be an 8-bit value. Let us say that data is hex we talk about. The data is 3a or when it is recycle, we write data on this side. 3a is received and where that goes. So after this is the core phase cycle, this data goes into instruction register. See date, whether data or up code or up code or operand, the 8 bits is it just what we can say, raw information, there are only 8 bits, it is neither of core nor opera and it does not have any meaning, the, the numbers don't have any meaning, the table with which you look, the meaning is there in the lookup table, with reference to which you are looking at the numbers, so that 3a goes to instruction register. So when it goes to an instruction register, instruction register come, comes to know that this is an instruction asking me, me means when I say me, it is microprocessor, this is the instruction asking me to load the 3A is an upcode for load accumulator from, just I am giving an example load accumulator from so load accumulator from means from an external memory location so this instruction asks me to load accumulator from some external address from some external address External address is how many bit? External address is 16 bit. External address is 16 bit. 
as external address is 16 bit but where is that address where is that address so that means the, in, the opcode LDA is asking me to read accumulator from so the instruction is still not complete then this instruction contains two more bytes where these are stored in next two locations so at 0 0 0 there is 3a then next two bytes correspond to next two bytes correspond to the address from where I am supposed to read the location and store that to and bring it to accumulator. So I in the when the three days is received, micros understands that it has to read next two locations. So, so next two cycles of the LDA are read cycles and in these two cycles it will read from now 0 0 0 0 3a so to read the next location after the program count is used it is automatically incremented by 1 so in the first machine cycle microsoft output 0 0 0 0 that is program count are going to transfer to address lines and then program count is automatically incremented so next time when program count is used to give the contents they are 0 0 0 1 hex all these are hex values 0 0 0 1 and again it is incremented suppose if 50 is there 50 is there where this 50 should go what is this 50 this 50 is a part of the 16 bit address which I require. So, this 50 is required. This 50 is required by me later on. This 50 is available now. Thing which is available now and required later, you need to store somewhere. So, this 50 is stored in temporary register set. The next program counter gives. 0, 0, 0, 2. Let this be 8, 0. I just type in a random example. This is a, what is this 8, 0? This a and this is syntax. The first is the lower byte and next is the higher byte. Why? Because the designer thought that syntax. So this and this program called is incremented. This 80 goes to W register. So in the first three machine cycles, in the first three machine cycles after reset, after reset, the microprocessor has read the instruction load accumulator from 8050. So the instruction is read. It is not yet executed. So what is the sequence of a servant or what that matter for a microprocessor? The sequence is read the instruction, understand it, execute it and then read the next instruction. So now in the first three machine cycles, the microprocessor has read the instruction LDA30, LDA050. So it needs to be executed. What is the actual execution? Whatever is stored at address 8050, it may be a read-write location. It may be a read-only location, it may be an input port. So whatever is stored at 8050, that should come, that should come here and that should go to accumulator. So next would be a read cycle, but for this read, program counter will not give address. For this read, program counter will not give address. It is WZ register will give the address and the address is 8050. The address is 8050. So WZ register is giving me the address 8050. And at that location, let us say that 55 is the data. That 55 will go to accumulator. 
that 55 will go to accumulator. So in the first three machine cycles, the instruction LDA has been read and in the fourth machine cycle, the instruction LDA has been executed. Now, just I will take immediate next instruction so that you will understand everything and then we will conclude this lecture with, with variety of next instruction we proceed further. So since now program boundary is implemented 0, 1, 2 in first 3 bytes the instruction data is executed. Once the so in these instruction read here instruction execute that is over now. When the first instruction execution is over you go for next instruction. You read the first chapter when you understand that you read the next chapter. You can't read the next chapter unless you understand the first chapter and it is like that you may not understand the first chapter so you may not go for the second chapter at all. So next instruction you have to be code fetch. So who will give address? Program 1. What is it now? 0, 0, 0, 2 was used. So 0, 0, 0, 3. And that is 32 going to instruction register and this 32 I have deliberately chosen is an instruction store accumulator. Store accumulator. What is store accumulator? Store accumulator at store accumulator at the 16 bit address which follows. So it is a 3 byte instruction. This tells me this tells me means my processor to store or to transfer the contents of accumulator to an external location. So I should have a write cycle. So next is read cycle because I will put the address. Read. Obviously program count is incremented. Program count is incremented. Program count is 0, 0, 0, 4. If that read is now. I think instead of 8050. I will just make a small change. And I will give the address as. So we can. At the end, you can have some input output codes. So F, 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 it doesn't matter much. F, 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 F8 is the address of input code, and F, 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 C is the address of output code. So I read F, E, sorry, F8 was here, then F, F was here. So it gave me F, F, F8. So these bits, if I have put as 55, these bits I have put 0, 1, 0, 1. I actually made the pins at 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So that 55 came on the data lines. So when F, F, F8 location was there, the 55 came, that is now in the accumulator. So store accumulator at, I will store at FFFC. So that FC will go to Z. Again read cycle, program counter will give 0, 0, 0, 5. This will be F, F, it will go to W. So in this last three cycles, Microsoft has read the instruction. Store accumulator at FFFC. So fetching instant reading zone of execution. That will be a right cycle. WZ will give F, 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 E. Accumulate is there. So accumulate will give 55 and it will be a right cycle. It will be a right cycle. So 55 will come. F, 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 C will be there on address. F, 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 C will be there on address lines. F, 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 C will be there on address lines. 55 will come. So the latch will transfer. So these are 55. And these will become 55 again. And if we can have a simple program of microprocessor. It is just a follower. And after that I will put the instruction. Jump to 0. That is. Next is. Program counter giving 0, 0, 0, 6 plus a perfect cycle C3 going to instruction register. C3 is a jump instruction. Jump to given address. Then read program counter giving 
program count will give 0, 0, 0, 0, 7, <coughs> 0, 0, 0, 7, there will be 0, 0, it will go to Z, then again read, program will be incremented, program count plus, that is 0, 0, 0, 8, that is 0, 0, will go to W. So in these three cycles, I have read the instruction. I have read the instruction. Jump to 0, 0, 0, 0. So what is execution of jump instruction? Execution of jump instruction is transfer the program counter which has become now after outputting 0, 0, 0, 8. It has become 0, 0, 0, 9. But it will become, since W is transfer, program counter will give 0, 0, 0, 0 of code fetch cycle and this 3a will come to instruction register so means this I can rub out and say that after this the next cycle is this again so it will again read the location right to this so if I put this simple program inside my chip then whatever is here I7 to I0 that will appear on O7 to O0. So if I can connect switches here, I can connect LEDs. So as I change the switches, it will reflect on change of LEDs. So it is lower and slower, the most simple program to, uh, I, I, I again repeat that 85 example is just to make you a feel of understanding microprocessor, we will continue the next lecture.